Okay, so right here, we are looking at the brand map of uh, one of our students. Oh, he's a uh, five. So, okay, uh, we are going to use this brand map for developing lecturers vocabulary revision and structural revision today. So, okay, this, uh, these are these are the adjectives, so the nouns of four uh, guys to describe his feelings. First of all, we have the word like violent, dramatic, familial, sentimental, and spastic. Ah, violent, let's come to the word violent. Once it comes to violence, okay, violence, we have a very, uh, it's, it's kind of common situation these days. Common situation, sorry, common situation these days, which is a, uh, okay, uh, domestic, domestic violence, domestic violence. So once we study English, instead of predicting the old knowledge, we are going to use the old knowledge as the foundation for us to expand and revise our, uh, our, other, uh, our other knowledge related to the world and uh, daily life matters. So one of the common matters in our daily life that is domestic violence, dramatic. You can see that uh, these days people love the word drama. Lots of drama when it comes to charity work in Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam is worse than ever these days. Lots of dramas when it comes to artists in Vietnam, artists in Vietnam and lots of dramas when it comes to, okay, uh, army, okay, army support in Vietnam these days. So when it comes to drama, we have the word dramatic. It's like, oh, these days, I can't, I can't, I can't tolerate the drama these days. When it comes to charity work, okay, people, we can say that people undercover, people undercover, uh, people undercover, in order to, uh, in order, okay, in order to get benefits from uh, from charity work. So right here, undercover is not an action verb. Undercover is just a phrase, an a phrase for me to say. So I will go undercover if I want to fake my face in order not to be recognized by other people. So once you go, okay, once you go undercover, once you go undercover, or once you be okay, undercover, you are going to do what? You are going to fake okay, yourself. You are going to fake yourself. You are going to, uh, you are going to disguise, okay? I'm going to disguise myself because I don't want people to recognize me. Disguise yourself by wearing a mask, for example, wear or get wear a different a different face mask, or for example, you can choose a mask to wear so people cannot uh, cannot recognize you from your face. And another disguise that is uh, that is you are going to wear lots of fake fake faces when okay when facing people. It's like you think I am happy. But in fact, I feel very sad inside. I just be happy. I just show you my smile, my laughter. It doesn't mean that I am happy. It means I am, I am faking a smile. I am faking my, my laughter in order to make you feel pleasant or, or, or pleased because I want, uh, I want you to, uh, I want you to work as expected. I don't want you to study as expected. So these days people wear lots of fake faces, or you can say that people put on, put on lots of fake uh, faces in order to satisfy other people to get their work done. So we disguise because we want to get our work done, go on the cover. When it comes to drama in the society right now, it, it will be a lot about charity work. So we can use the word like dramatic events, make you feel uh, intolerate, okay? So right here, I can't tolerate these charity work. I fight myself, okay? I fight these charity work intolerant, okay? 
So right here, we have the word like this, intolerate. Oh, what is wrong with the keyboard? We can, yes. Yeah, so right here first, we have the word like, I, I will, I cannot tolerate, or I, again, or I feel, or I feel so much tolerant these days because, uh, again, yeah, because I need to fake my real feelings in order to stand other people. So right here, we have the adjective tolerant and the action verb tolerant, okay? You feel tolerant or you will feel intolerant in order to fake your, your feelings. So right here, dramatic events kills you these days. We're gonna stand, okay, the dramatic events these days because of so many things. What, oh, okay, so the keyboard haven't uh, something wrong. Oh, it works again. What is wrong with the you now in the keyboard? Yeah, so here, intolerant and tolerant can tolerate. Please remember these. Action verbs, okay, tolerate is an action verb, adjective here, and the opposite right here when it comes to dramatic events. People say that it's so dramatic, the events so dramatic, the situation so dramatic, the case, okay, the case so dramatic. So, familial, I love the word from the familial, it means uh, something about your family. So, anything related to your family, anything relevant or okay, relevant to your family, you will use the word familial. So instead of saying something like, okay, for me, uh, family problems, for example, I could say the family problems, I can use the adjective, something like this, familial, familial problems. So when it, it is about family, you would use the adjective familial, again, okay? sentimental. So if you are, if you are held back from your from your feelings, so okay, you feel like you be you you are okay, you are held back, held back by your feelings, okay? The feelings about the past, the feelings about uh some kinds of old memories, you would use the word sentimental. So instead of uh, instead of looking forward, instead of looking forward, looking forward, and instead of basing your senses on the facts, okay, on the facts of the past, you choose to base on your feelings. So if you choose to base on your feelings to make a decision in the present, you will be, okay, you will be called a kind of sentimental person. So a kind of sentimental person is a is a kind of person who are hold that who are held back by their feelings. They they are they are impacted. Okay, they are emotionally they are emotionally impacted by their feelings. So if they are emotion emotionally impacted by their feelings, they are sentimental because they don't look at the facts. They don't look at the the information. They're just based on their own feelings about the past to judge the present situation to make a present decision. So I will call them, I will label them sentimental, spastic, okay? So once uh, once you watch, okay, the Nazar Reborn movie or some kind of movies about, about a hero, okay, or, or super, Superman, something like this, you will use the word spastic when it comes to muscle. So if you have muscles and if you have power and it is impossible for you to control, or you can set up uncontrollable power. So first, you cannot control your power because you are growing up, okay? Because you are in the process of growing up. You are in the process of in the process recognizing 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 your power you would use the word oh i am i feel so spastic it means that my muscles are very strong uh the power coming from my muscles are are okay uh is uncontrollable so you would use the word spastic so right here for the first branch of Hawaii, okay grammar we can see again okay, these adjectives 
right here uh 50 minutes have passed for the english lecture so right now i'm going to deliver my vietnamese lecture so right here we have the word five COVID sequence ở đây thì mình đang có năm tính từ okay so right here 